Welcome to iClicker. I'm going to show you how you can ask polling questions with iClicker Cloud. Let's get started. Before coming to this step, you'll need to have downloaded the iClicker Cloud desktop software. You'll need to have created an iClicker Cloud instructor account, an iClicker Cloud course, and you'll need to have added questions to your lecture presentation deck. Lastly, you'll need to start the iClicker Cloud desktop software. With iClicker Cloud, you can ask short answer, multiple choice, multiple answer, numeric, and target questions. You can also ask your students exit polls. I'm going to demonstrate how to ask all of these question types now. Start by logging into the iClicker Cloud desktop software. Click on the name of the course that you want to ask polling questions in. Then click Start Class. This will give you the iClicker Cloud Desktop toolbar. You can move it anywhere on your desktop that you want. If you want to make it smaller, click on the cloud icon to shrink it down. Next, you want to open up whatever presentation tools you're using for your lecture. In this case, I'm using Google Slides. I'm going to present my lecture deck and when I'm on one of my questions I'm going to simply click on the cloud icon and then I'm going to click poll. I'm going to make sure that I've selected the right type of question from the drop down menu and then I'm going to press the play button to start the poll. I get a preview of what my desktop captured and sent to students and now the poll is open for students to respond to. Here's what it looks like for students. Students get a screenshot of the question that you've asked and they respond by simply touching on whichever answer they feel is correct. So as the instructor, once you feel like enough time has passed, you simply click the red button to stop the poll. You can then click on the results button and here is where you can grade your students' responses. Simply touch on the correct response and you can see a green check mark will appear and all the other answers will be marked as incorrect. You can have more than one correct answer if the question demands it. Let's try another question type. This is a short answer question. To ask this question, I simply go to the drop down menu. I select short answer and then I hit the play button. My students are sent this screenshot and now I can see how many responses I have and how much time has passed. Let's see what it looks like for students. Again, they get a screenshot of your question, and here they can respond with up to 140 characters like a tweet. And again, as the instructor, you can watch how many responses have come in, how much time has passed, and once you're happy with the number of responses you've gotten, you can hit the stop button. Once again, you can click on results. When you click on the results, you can display them as a list or you can come and display them as a word cloud. If none of your students have entered the correct answer, you can go to the other section and fill in the correct answer. This way your students will have the correct answer to study if they use iClicker study tools after class. With study tools, they're able to turn all of your iClicker polling questions into flashcard packs and practice tests after class. So it's really important to grade your students' responses. I'm going to click results again to hide it. And now I'm ready for my next question. This next question type is a numeric question type. I'll simply go over here, select numeric, and then hit the play button take that capture of my presentation screen and send it to students. Let's see what the student view looks like. Students are limited to numeric responses and they can put in eight characters. And then again, when the instructor's satisfied, just press stop. Click on results to grade question. If you have a correct answer, simply touch on it. It'll turn green, it'll be marked as graded. So this is a target question. With a target question, students are sent an image and they are asked to touch a place on the image to indicate where their correct answer is. Let me go ahead and show you. Just go ahead and change this to target and then I'll hit the play button. It captures my desktop and sends it to students. 
Let's go see what students see. My student simply touches where on the image they feel the correct answer is and then click send when they're satisfied. They can change it around as long as the question is open. And once the instructor is satisfied that enough students have responded, just click that stop button. Then click on results to grade the question. I'm going to make it bigger so it's easier to grade. And then simply draw a box around where you feel the correct answer is. And then click save. Questions can also be graded after class at the iClicker website. Another question type we have is multiple answer. So I just make sure that my answer is set to multiple answer and then hit the play button. I get a preview of what my students see and let's go see what it looks like for students to answer this type of question. So the student comes and selects all the answers they feel are correct and then clicks send answer. And then when the instructor is satisfied with the number of responses, again just click that stop button and then you're able to grade the results. Lastly, I wanted to show you anonymous questions. With anonymous questions, you can ask any of our question types anonymously. Simply go to these three little dots over here and select anonymous. Make sure that your question type is correct and then click the play button. You can see that your toolbar says that it's anonymous and it's turned black so that you don't ignore the fact that you're asking an anonymous question. Let's see what it looks like for your students. So for students you can see it says that it's anonymous here and then when they answer you can see their answer immediately disappears. So if someone was sitting behind them they wouldn't be able to see their response. And then simply stop the poll when you're ready. You can display the results but you cannot grade anonymous questions. When you're done asking anonymous questions just make sure to turn it off and you're ready to ask more polling questions if you like. At the end of your class, you're able to go ahead and close your iClicker polling software. When you close it, it's going to give you the option to end your class with an exit poll. Let's talk about what that means. With iClicker exit polls, you're able to gather feedback from your students after class ends. Students are sent a notification that you would like feedback. They get to respond in their own time. You can download the responses from the session details window in the gradebook. When they get their exit poll, this is what they're asked. They're asked to rate their level of understanding of today's class on a one to five scale. And then they get a thousand characters to ask any additional questions of their instructor. Thanks for joining me. And for more resources, visit iClicker.com forward slash support, where you can search our knowledge base or contact us. Thanks for watching and happy teaching.